And finally, Mahwish from the U.S. Uh, Sheikh, so I wanted to know, uh, there are several uh, sisters who, you know, Allah guides them and they want to wear the hijab and the abaya. But this causes a lot of chaos in their households. Like, it's to the extent where the mother and the father fight and they yell at her all the time and they, uh, it gets to the point where the father may even say something bad about Allah. And they don't let her wear the abaya, they, they won't let her leave the house like that. Uh, they won't let her wear the niqab. So what to do in this case? Okay, I will answer it. Mehwish says, a similar question, but for girls and women who accept Islam, want to practice, but find problems resulting from that in their own household. So the parents are fighting, cursing, maybe uh, uh, physically abusing, what to do? In short, because we have like 30 seconds left, Every person has his own test. So your test is with such abusive parents or family who, uh, who uh, um, do not endorse your hijab or approve of it. You could have another test of ovarian cancer or breast cancer, or you can live in a worn, war-torn country where you find barrels of bombs falling and burning your family and you cannot do anything about it. You can be living in a place where is famine struck and you don't have water to feed your children or your siblings. You could be anywhere. So each person Allah is giving a test according to their belief and according to the result they will end up in paradise or in hell. So all what you can do is be diplomatic, be patient and tolerant, but remain steadfast on Islam. Do not compromise your religion, no matter how heavy and uh, uh, serious the pressure is. And with the, great, with, with the grace of Allah, you will prevail because Allah is with you.